Greetings, everybody. Get out your King James Bible. Turn to Ezekiel chapter 25. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. John 8, 12. You know the rest. Verse 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites and prophesy against them. So, who are the Ammonites? Well, Abraham had a relative, I think it was a nephew, named Lot. Lot went to Sodom, and uh, hopefully you know that story, if you've ever read the book of Genesis, which you should, because it's, Genesis is the foundation of the Bible. But, uh, the Lord uh, sent some angels and was going to destroy Sodom. So they took Lot and his wife and his two virgin daughters out of there. His wife looked back, turned into a pillar of salt, and they witnessed the destruction of the city. Well, the daughters thought the whole world had been destroyed and they wanted children, so they got their father drunk. And uh, I guess they got on, mounted, mounted him and got on top and uh, did some work until he uh, got him pregnant. So they had two kids, Moab and Ammon. And evidently those children probably with all, probably, well, it's got to be 100% probability my opinion, that they intermarried with some Canaanite women. Because the line was polluted after that. Chaplain Bob, I've never heard of that. Well, how about we go to Deuteronomy 23 and verse 3. Listen to this carefully. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. An Ammonite or Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to their tenth generation shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever. Oh, but... But Chaplain Bob, my pastor said that after the 11th generation, they could go in. Well, yeah, just get rid of that forever, and I suppose they could do that. But the uh, Bible says forever. Now, I don't, to my knowledge, it, the Bible doesn't tell you who the Ammon, who Ammon or Moab married. But I, they had to have married some Canaanite women. And of course, people say, "Well, you know, the Canaanites—they were—they were satanic pagans." But you know, now Jesus is here, and He wants to save everybody. Well, forever means forever. I'm sorry, but forever means forever. Just like when it says, uh, "We'll be with Christ forever." So. An Ammonite or a Moabite shall not enter the congregation of the Lord. Period. Ezekiel 25, verse 1. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against the Ammonites, and prophesy against them. And say unto the Ammonites, Hear the word of the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God, Because thou set, settest, Aha! Against my sanctuary, when it was profaned, and against the land of Israel, when it was desolate, and against the house of Judah, when they went into captivity. You ever heard anybody say, Aha! Behold, therefore I will deliver thee to the men of the east for a possession, and they shall set their palaces in thee, and make their dwellings in thee. They shall eat thy fruit 
and they shall drink thy milk. Oh yeah, they're going to take over your homes. They're going to take over the fruit of your trees. They're going to drink the milk of your cows. Verse 5. And I will make Rabbah a stable for camels. Evidently, that's some, one of their cities. I, I don't know what the significance is of that. And really, I don't think it's that important. So... And the Ammonites a couching place for flocks. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 6. For thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast clapped thine hands. <laughs> yeah. When, when destruction came upon it, Judah... They clapped their hands. They were happy. Yay! Aha! Because thou hast clapped thine hands and stamped with thy feet and rejoiced in heart with all thy despite against the land of Israel. Behold, therefore, I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and will deliver thee for a spoil to the heathen and I will cut thee off from the people and I will cause thee to perish out of the countries. I will destroy thee, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord. Oh, but, but, but Jesus is coming, and now he wants to save them. Yeah. Yeah, if you listen to John Hagee, that's probably true. Verse 8. Thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Now what is Seir? S-E-I-R. Well, Mount Seir was the dwelling place of Esau, who is Edom, and the Edomites, and uh, also called Idumea. And you can read about that in Genesis 32, verse 3. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. Genesis 33, 16. So Esau returned that day on his way unto Seir. Genesis 36, 8. Thus dwelleth Esau in Mount Seir, Esau is Edom. Verse 9. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites, in Mount Seir. God doesn't have very many nice things to say about Edom. Matter of fact, Josephus, a Jewish historian that lived around the time of Christ, um during the time of all the things going on when Christ was around, walking the earth as a, in a physical body, he said that King Herod, that family, were of Esau, Edom. Yes, indeed. And I have no reason to doubt it. Absolutely no reason to doubt that at all. Now remember, Esau married two Hittites, who were tribes of the Canaanites. And it just slays me that God says he's going to destroy the Canaanites. He's going to destroy Esau, Edom forever. And then people say, well, you know, I don't know, I don't know about, you know, Canaanites. Uh, I think Jesus came now and he wants to save them. It's a different dispensation. Look around, people. You know, you know why there's so much evil in the world? It started at the pulpit. I mean, something as simple as the origin of the Canaanites, the churches hide. I got an entire playlist on it. The angels that sinned proves without a doubt that the fallen angels 
came down and played around with the women and got them pregnant. Some of the kids were giants and others were uh, the Canaanites. Canaan. Some people think uh, started with Cain. And I won't argue with those people. So, what does the Bible say about Esau, Edom? Now, those that want to get Esau into the kingdom, I suggest you read to them Obadiah 1.18, and they'll say, oh, well, that's the old, that's a, the old, that's the dispensation of law. Don't pay any attention to that. We're in the dispensation of grace. Yeah, God loves everybody now. He wants to save us all. Some of them carry it that so far as to, you know, Satan's going to be in the kingdom. Oh, yeah, Satan's going to be, God's going to forgive Satan, and Satan's going to get saved and believe on Jesus. That's the kind of foolishness that they teach nowadays. Obadiah 118. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire. Now, remember, Jacob's Israel. And the house of Joseph, a flame. And the house of Esau, for stubble. What do you do with stubble? You burn it. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord hath spoken it. Oh, that's the old law stuff. Now God wants to save Esau. Uh, oh, really? Oh, really? How about Malachi 1? The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. And I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Oh, Chaplain Bob, that, that word hated there, really, you know, the King James is wrong. You know, that word hated, it really doesn't mean hated. It means that God loved Jacob a little tiny, teeny bit more than he loved Esau. Really? Verse 4, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Well, guess what? That happened in 1948. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord hath indignation. What is indignation? Extreme hatred. The people against whom the Lord hath indignation forever. Oh, Chaplain Bob, forever doesn't mean forever, you know, when it's talking about the bad people. God, you know, now Jesus came and he's going to save everybody. Yeah, yeah. Well, when they talk about faith in Christ and eternal life, then they mean forever. But when it comes to these devil seed people, they want you to think forever really doesn't mean forever. It just means forever until Christ comes. Yeah. I mean, seriously? These people are evil. If they're not deceived by Bible College Cemetery, they're either deceivers or perhaps the Lord himself has deceived them. I don't know, but either way, they shouldn't be teaching anything. Ezekiel 25, verse 8, Thus saith the Lord God, because that Moab and Seir do say, Behold, the house of Judah is like unto all the heathen. Therefore, behold, I will open the side of Moab from the cities, 
from his cities which are on his frontiers the glory of the country Beth Jeshemoth Baal Meon and Kiriathim now if you look at that B A A L M E O N Baal uh, they named that after that city Baal Meon they may name that city after the false god Satan isn't that wonderful unto the men of the east with the Ammonites and will give them in possession that the Ammonites may not be remembered among the nations and I will execute judgments upon Moab and they shall know that I am the Lord verse 12 thus saith the Lord God because that Edom hath dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and hath greatly offended and revenged himself upon them therefore thus saith the Lord God I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom and will cut off man and beast from it and I will make it desolate from Teman and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury and they shall know my vengeance saith the Lord God do you know the 1925 uh, you know who encyclopedia says that Edom is in modern you know who today I hate to say that word uh, yeah you know the, the J word uh, all I know is if I get one more strike, my channel's gone. But by the grace of God, I'm still here. All right, verse 15. So Esau Edom is in modern Unahuri today. According to the 1925 their encyclopedia, which I can't find it anymore online. Oh, I can find the 1905 version, or is it 1905? I think it's 1905. But the 1925 version uh, had a very interesting article on communism where they would brag about uh, their participation in the communist revolution in Russia where all the Christians were murdered. Oh, yeah. Can't have that floating around the internet, especially when people are home, uh, hiding from the V, you know, doing research. Can't have that hanging around. Uh-uh. Boy, I tell you what, I wish I'd have taken some screenshots back then, but uh, I didn't, you know. Maybe I need to, oh, I don't know. You know, the way things are getting to be now, it's either you know or you don't. Verse 15. Thus saith the Lord God, because the Philistines, uh, who are the Philistines? Well, guess who Samson was fighting against? Philistines. King David, before he became the king, who was he fighting? Goliath. Who was a Philistine? Now, I'm not sure all the Philistines were giants, but at least some of them were. Thus saith the Lord God, because the Philistines have dealt by revenge and have taken vengeance with a despiteful heart to destroy it for the old hatred. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I will stretch out mine hand upon the Philistines and I will cut off the Cherethims and destroy the remnant of the sea coast. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, they were by the sea coast, the Philistines, and Dan was charged with taking that over. There was probably some intermixing between Dan and the Philistines. 
and supposedly uh, they were all an ocean going people. So maybe they were the um, Phoenicians, the Carth Carthage, uh, perhaps you've heard of Carthage, they fought Rome, they got their butts whipped with Rome. Took a while, um, you know, and then the uh, Dan, I believe Dan uh, was the seedbed for the Vikings. I mean, let's face it, uh, the Danube River, and uh, you've even got a country called Denmark. Well, we spell it Den. Mark, D E N Mark, but they spell it Dan Mark, the Mark of Dan. Yeah. You'd be surprised how many uh, rivers in Germany or in Europe that have Dan because they were an ocean going people. But uh, I don't know. They don't want us to know our history. Verse 17. And I will execute great vengeance upon them with furious rebukes. And they shall know that I am the Lord when I shall lay my vengeance upon them. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God, slain from the foundation of the world all blessings praise glory and honor in jesus precious name amen